Fighting fans here in Halle, Germany, Jerry Weber Stadium for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. You recognize that gentleman in the center ring? That's Michael Buffer. The IBF is Benedetto Montello of Italy. The three judges at ringside scoring the bout on a 10-point must system are Armand Crieff of France, Frank Skillbred of the United States, and Heinrich Mumelt of Deutschland. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action in the ring at this time is the referee from the United States, Bobby Ferreira. Okay, Bobby Ferreira from Arizona. And now, ladies referee. and gentlemen, let's welcome our fighters to the ring. First, coming into the building at this time from the United States, the challenger, Iran, the Blade Boy. They do things a little differently here in Germany. They introduce the fighter before he's walking into the ring. Tommy Vergetz, new trainer for Iran Barkley. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, former trainer, no longer there. Tommy Vergetz, who also trains Tommy Morrison. Walking in with... Green tells you, professional debut back in 1982. But a two-round knockout of Larry Jordan. Good seven years before Henry Masca turned pro. Good eight years before Henry Masca turned pro, actually. Tommy Vergetz. Trainer of Iran Barkley. Absent from his corner for the first time in quite a while, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, former light heavyweight champion himself, credited with bringing Barkley now, back to the ring, turning his career the around. Ladies and gentlemen, the light back to Michael Buffer. Champion of the world, gentlemen, Henry Mosca. 14,000 people going wild here in Halle, Germany. Jerry Weber Stadium is the introduction of the IBF light heavyweight champion, undefeated Henry Masca. German Sportsman of the Year, the first boxer to receive such a title. And as we mentioned, they do things a little differently here in Germany.
Never give up. Always go your way, step by step. That's Maska's slogan there. I won't attempt to read it in German. Doing his last second pacing. Never give up. Always go your way, step by step. back in May 9th, 1990 against Teo Avrevizu, knockout one in England. Oddly enough, didn't have his pro debut in Germany. Perhaps his biggest knockout win to date against former light heavyweight champion Leslie Stewart back in March of 92 where he knocked out Stewart in seven rounds. For the national anthems of the challenger and champion respectively. First of all, the national anthem from the United States, the Star Spangled Banner.
Sauerland Promotions of Germany, with Cedric Kushner Promotions of the United States, in association with RTL, present the moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, from Halle, Westfalen, Deutschland, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Twelve rounds of boxing sanctioned by the IVF and the BDB for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing first, in the red corner, wearing the black with red and weighing 78 kilos with a professional record of 33 victories against nine defeats, 20 victories by KO. He has traveled the road from ghetto to glory, earning three world titles. From the Bronx, in New York City, introducing the challenger, a former three-time champion of the world, Iran, the Blade, Barkley. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at 79 kilos and wearing yellow tonight, this 1988 Olympic gold medal champion now has a professional record of 24 victories without a loss. He has scored 11 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, from Frankfurt Oder, Deutschland, the man who has captured an entire nation, the pride of all Germany, presenting the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, gentlemen, Henry! I know you understand the rules. I want you to protect yourselves at all times. I want a clean fight. I want you to shake hands now and go back to your corners. Come on. Touch gloves. Thank you. Instructions given by referee Bobby Ferrara from Arizona. Refereed one of other, one other title defense from Henry Masca. And that, of course, was his title defense against Anthony Hembrick, which Masca won handily over 12 rounds. Now he's in there with Iran Barkley, former three-time world champion and once world champion at light heavyweight, a title he won from Tommy Hearns. Tommy Vergitz. Trainer also Tommy Morrison, new trainer for Iran Barkley. Managed to get Barkley down from that 208 pounds that he weighed in his loss to Adolfo Washington. Weighing in a fraction actually below Henry Masca here today. We take a look at the champion. Here we go, start of round number one, and Barkley comes out fast. Point to point out, if you haven't noticed already, Henry Mask is a southpaw. He's considered awkward. Iran Barkley, considered very awkward, leading with his head. Chasing Mask all over the ring. And having seen all of Mask's title fights, I don't remember anybody ever giving him this kind of aggression this early in the fight. And again, a lot of people think Barkley might just have the style to upset the undefeated light heavyweight champion of the world, Henry Masca. Masca digs a left hook into Barkley's gut. Barkley looking nice and svelte compared to the one we saw on ESPN not that long ago. 208 pounds against Adolfo Washington, making the 175 pound limit today for the IBF fight. We're on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network, also coming to you, the Pro Star Entertainment Network. Round number one in Halle, Germany. Masker in the white shorts. Barkley in the dark shorts. So far, Barkley the aggressor. Referee Bobby Ferrar breaks him up. Already gives a warning to Barkley. 
He gave a lot of warnings to Hembrick in the title defiance they did. Actually took a point away from Hembrick as well. Hembrick dangerously close to getting disqualified in that fight. Busted open Maska's eye, who is a bleeder, by the way, with the headbutt. Watch for Barkley's head, cleanly shaven for this encounter. One minute to go here, round number one. The light heavyweight championship. I ran the blade Barkley from the Bronx. Only a second time out of the United States. The only other time he fought out of the States was in Italy against Sumbu Kalambe for the middleweight title, losing a 15 round decision. So far, doesn't care that Mask is a lefty, hasn't really fought any sort of a strategy other than let's bowl my way in there and see what happens once I'm there. Maska having his trouble keeping Barkley off him at the moment. Hasn't gotten his jab started yet. Good left hand lead though by Maska and that's what he's gonna need to keep Barkley away from him. Barkley working the body, throws an uppercut inside. We're nearing the end of round number one, a good round for Barkley. Approval goes up at the end of round number one here in Germany. But a round that, in my opinion, was a very good round for the challenger, Iran Barkley. Came out very aggressive. Throwing caution to the wind, moving on the inside. Seeming very strong. The mask had a lot of trouble keeping him off. Come with the right hand, the uppercut's gonna stop. All right. All right? That's what we gotta do. Right hand's gonna stop that uppercut. So you said, but what? Come with the right hand lead once in a while. Or jab right hand. Right? right? Gotta put the right hand behind the head. Take the uppercut away from it. Right. right to the chest with it. Watch your head. Watch your head. Action here from round number one. Good right there. We start round number two. We're back here in Halle, Germany, and a good body shot. Good left hook to the ribs. That stung Maska. Maska's back in the corner. Don't kid yourself. That body shot hurt Maska. And Barkley chasing him all over the ring. Henry Maska not on his usual game plan. Having trouble keeping off the aggressor here. Iran Barkley. Scheduled 12 rounder for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Referee Bobby Ferrara from Phoenix, Arizona, telling him to fight out of it. As we mentioned earlier, he's done one other of Maska's fights, that against his first title defense against Anthony Hembrick. on the inside. Not sure it would do him much good if he didn't want to right now. Barkley seems to be able to muscle his way in. Not getting much done at this moment when, once he gets on the inside, but for that matter, either is Maska. Maska needs to double up on that jab and stay on the outside. Get his left hand lead started. Good left hand uppercut. For in his first title shot with new trainer Tommy Brigetts, also trainer Tommy Morrison. Eddie Mustafa Muhammad not with Iran Barkley today. Henry Maska, of course, trained by Manfred Boca. 68 Olympic gold medalist himself in the welterweight division. Maska was the Olympic gold medalist back in 1988 at middleweight. Medal that many thought Anthony Hembrick, who missed the bus, would have won, but they settled their score as pros. And you see who's still counting. A little better round there for Masker as he's starting to get the man. Here's Barkley to keep up this kind of aggression for 12 rounds. No one has got it, but he can make a believe right now. There's another 20 seconds to go. Round number 
2. We're in Halle, Germany. IBF, the late heavyweight championship. Scheduled for 12. Henry Nasco, champion, undefeated. 24 0 at Sunday. He's got 20 KOs, and that's the end of round number two. Champion Henry Masca, to show right hand jab starting to find its range last round from Masca. Fighting on the inside, getting a pretty good left in on Iran Barkley as well. This is, of course, German television coverage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fourteen thousand people, sellout crowd. Gary Weber Stadium, Halle, Germany, for the IBF light heavyweight title. Round number three. Henry Mask is starting to get that jab moving. He had some good success with it there in round number two. Barkley the chaser doesn't seem to have any unique strategy for fighting the South Poor Masca fighting him as he would fight somebody else or anybody else that he's fought in his pro career which spans 42 fights Masca not known for his punching power he's got only 10 knockouts in his 24 wins Barkley, on the other hand, has got 20 KOs in his 33 wins. Including a knockout win over Tommy Hearns, which gave him his first world title at middleweight. He later beat Hearns also for the light heavyweight title on a 12-round decision and knocked out Darren Van Horn to win the 168-pound title. Lost that 68-pound title to James Toney. Fighter who's got his own date with destiny on November 18th against Roy Jones. But right now, we're at the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship on the Cedric Kushner Sports Network. Henry Mask is starting to have his way with Iran Barkley, looking very good here in the third round. It's a little bit more than halfway gone. As long as he's got that jab moving, he's been good at keeping Barkley off. Doesn't want to lay in there though that close with Barkley. Wants to take that step back, double up on the jab like he just did. Iran gets in close, he's got to do more than that. But he scorns Masca. Thinking he can take Masca's best punch, and maybe he can. Again, Masca not known for his punching power. Barkley working that right side of Masca. Notice how Masca's keeping that elbow down there now. Barkley hurt that side of Masca back in the second round. And Henry Masca keeping his right arm low as if to protect that side. Barkley tying him up. Watch that right side of Masca. He throws a headlock. He receives a warning from referee Bobby Ferrara. We're under 10 seconds to go in round number three. IBA Light Heavyweight Championship. Look in the corner here of the champ, Henry Masca. Cup man, Denny Mancini, holding a towel over him. Manfred Volker as we switch over. Corner of Iran Barkley. First fight with Tommy Brigetts. Also trains Tommy Morrison. We look at a replay. Round number three action. Again, we see a good right-left combination. That's scorned. 
Barkley looks up at Maskin and says, nah, that did nothing to me, didn't bother me. This famous Michael Schumacher, of course, sitting there in the crowd, Formula One racer. Very popular over here in Germany, Michael Schumacher. The racing fans, I'm sure, are well aware of him. Round number four. We're in Halle, Germany, IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. Iran Barkley. Not making a lot of the replays between rounds here. But he did dig a very good left hook into that right side also in the third round of Henry Masca. Kept Masca right hand way down after that took place. You can see the knockout percentages of the two fighters. He just landed another left into those ribs on the right side of Masca. Mask has a tendency after catching that right to the ribs, excuse me, the left to his right side of the ribs, keeping his right hand very low. For the most part, though, having his way on the inside with Barkley, which is usually where Barkley's game is. Masco won the title from Prince Charles Williams. Here's our trivia question during this fight. Give a little thought. Who did Prince Charles Williams win the title from, which he held for quite a while? Who did Charlie Williams win the light heavyweight championship from? But Henry Masco won it from Charlie, has defended it four times since then. This is his fifth defense against three-time world champion Iran Barkley. Barkley working that midsection when he gets inside. Maska tying him up, not doing much himself. Under a minute to go, round number four. Scheduled 12 rounder. Good left hook, good left uppercut by Maska. Catches Barkley coming in, but Barkley seems to be able to take Maska's best shot today. But Henry continues to score. On the awkward scale, I think they match each other, though. Veteran trainer Mickey Duff says he wouldn't know how to tell a fighter to fight Henry Masca. Under 10 seconds to go, round number four. We're in Halle, Germany. IBF light heavyweight title. Take a look at the corner here. Former three-time world champion, Iran Barkley. Mm -hmm. Segway over. Stop popping the jab. Come with the right hand right behind it. Right. What you're doing, you're trying to either jab way too far out and you're getting overstrided. Right. right? Or you're coming in low and you're not throwing your jab. Henry Mask is corner here. Danny Mancini, veteran cup man from England, wiping him down. Manfred Volker giving him instruction. Former Olympic gold medalist, 88 Olympics. 24 0, undefeated with 10 knockouts. Round number five. Barkley goes right back to work on that body. And I still believe he hurt that right side of Masca. As he continues to keep his right dangerously low. And he ought to look out for that Barkley left hook. Look how he's protecting that right side. Barkley bobbing and weaving. Looking for an opening. 
won his first title with a surprise knockout when he had a very severe cut over Tommy Hearns. Lost it in his first defense to Roberto Duran. Giving Roberto Duran his last world title at 160 pounds. Both fighters can cut a bit. Barkley, of course, had many operations to restore his eyes. He goes to the, uh, back to the old days, they were using radiator sealer to close cuts in his eyes. Had to scrape that off the bone. Eyes got all puffed up and cut in his last world title fight when he dropped his 168-pound title to James Toney. That was back in February of 93. Trying to see if he could do it one more time against undefeated light heavyweight champion Henry Masca. A little over a minute to go. Round number five. We're scheduled for 12. Masca content to stay on the inside and trade with Barkley. Keeping those elbows in, though. Barkley needs to do more inside. Not busy enough. He's getting in there and he's not doing enough. Since beating Tommy Hearns, Barkley's only eight and five in his professional career. type of fight for Henry Masca to be in. A lot of wrestling, a lot of infighting. Take a look at action here from round number five. Masca seems to be getting the better of the battle when they're fighting in close. And getting the better of the battle when they're fighting on the outside as he lands a good right. Doubled up on the right from the outside. Third right followed by a left. All unanswered. Barkley getting on the inside, not doing enough work. Not busy enough right now. <laughs> Round number six, IBF Light Heavyweight Championship. We're in Halle, West Germany. I, I did it again, folks. Halle, Germany. Schedule 12 round, the champion, Henry Mask in white. Against three-time former world champion Iran the Blade Barkley from Bronx, New York. Unofficially right now, I've got Masker ahead 49-47 at the end of five. Seems to have his way with Barkley. Barkley's getting on the inside, not staying busy once he gets there. Masker doubling up on the jab now, really starting to get the range. If his jab starts to work and he's winning the fight on the inside, it's going to be a long night for Barkley. Barkley's been most effective when punching left hooks to that right side of Masca. Masca seemed to guard it every time he got hit down there. Invisible pain. Barkley's first fight since January of 1992 without any Mustafa Muhammad in his corner. Being trained now by Tommy Burgetts, who also trains Tommy Morrison, and he's bullying his way in there, but not doing anything. Masca seems to be able to use slight height advantage to be able to pull down Barkley's head, working the outside, double it up on the jab, and half a round number six is gone, just like that.
Barkley coming down from 208 pounds when he fought Adolfo Washington just one year ago. To make the 175 pound limit for this IBF light heavyweight title fight. Weighed as much as 191 for his last fight before this against Gary Butler when he won an eight round decision back in July. And we're under a minute to go here in round number six. Bobby Ferrara taking a good look at Barkley. Has to be thinking what everybody else in the arena is thinking right now. Barkley, very slow, looking tired. But hey, that's what Tommy Hearns thought back in June of 88 when he had Barkley's eyes split open like a watermelon and got caught with a desperation punch. Giving Barkley his first title, that being the WBC Middleweight Championship, which he quickly lost back to Roberto Duran in a 12-round decision. And there's that left hook to the side, and you watch Mascus' right arm come right down there to protect that side. How come I'm seeing it and Barkley's not as we come to the end of round number six in Halle, Germany? right now in the corner by Ram Barkley. Right He's working the end swell on his eye. He's got a habit of those eyes swelling up and closing on him. That right eye's not looking too good right now. Very puffy, big wealth underneath it. They gotta be pleading with him to get more, more active. Be busier when he gets in close. He's getting inside, take advantage of it. Mascar on the other hand, Fighting a very good fight since the third round. <laughs> round number seven, a sellout crowd. The IBF Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. We're in Halle, Germany. Cedric Kushner Sports Network, Pro Star Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. I've got Masker ahead 59-56 unofficially at the end of six. Barkley's most effective blow at this point. Up, oh, that would have been the left hook. Except it was caught on the left glove of Masca. Best punch so far has been his left hooks to the right side of Masca. Doesn't seem to know that he's got Masca hurt in that place. He's only done it maybe four times, but he's done it with some good strength behind it. Masca looking to stay undefeated and keep his title. He's 24-0. Barkley trying to win his fourth world championship and his second at light heavyweight. He, of course, won the light heavyweight title last time from Tommy Hearns, who he's beaten twice. First time he beat Hearns was at 160 pounds, and, of course, he was the super middleweight champ, beating Darren Van Horn. Two-round knockout. Had an up and down career though since beaten Hearns, only eight and five since that date back in 1988. With his low point coming when he ballooned up to over 200 pounds against Adolfo Washington back in October of 93 and got stopped in six rounds. Round seven, halfway gone. Barkley a little busier this round. And Masca catches him though. Caught a bunch of punches on the elbows and then caught Barkley with a two-punch combination. Mass cannot know, though, for his punching ability. Has only 10 KOs in his 24 wins. And in his four title defenses, only one of them have come by way of knockout, and that was when he stopped Ernie Magdaleno on cuts back in March of 94 in the ninth round. Former Olympian Masca, 88 gold medalist at middleweight. Fighting on the outside now and really able to tee off on Barkley who comes in and clinches. Can't do much on the inside. Under 30 seconds to go, round number seven. Scheduled for 12. 
Barkley's eyes starting to puff up real bad now. Maska hitting Barkley at will. Fourteen thousand screaming fans here, and there's a reason why they're screaming. They can see that if this kind of punishment keeps up, Iran Barkley will he be able to last the full twelve? His right eye starting to close. It's all going to work on the left eye. We take a look at reaction here from round number seven. How are you doing, Iran? You okay, man? Good. Henry right, Masker left, doing, right. About six unanswered punches clean here fight. near the end of round number seven. Because he's coming in with that hello. It's, it's one or the other. Iran Barkley uh, becoming a punching bag. And I don't care how light you want to say Henry Masker is, how long is he going to stay in there and take that punishment from the German? And all Masker, six to third round. That right eye almost fully closed now. Round number eight. IBF light heavyweight title scheduled for 12, but I don't know how much more Iran Barkley can take after the way the seventh round went. Best round thus far for Henry Masca. Maska building a very comfortable lead. I've got him ahead 69-65 at the end of seven. Barkley coming in and looking like a very, very tired fighter. Content to land the inside. He comes in. Maska answers with a left uppercut and a right uppercut. Barkley can't get any kind of an attack started here. Maska really peppering him now. He's got the range on his jab and he's following up real good with his left. And it's that left that's really doing a tattoo on Barkley's right eye, which is almost totally swollen shut now. Maska hooking off his jab now. Barkley a desperate fighter. In my opinion, not aware of how much he's hurt the right side of Henry Masca. Certainly not able to take advantage of it now as he's getting hit with everything as he comes in wide open. Round eight, halfway gone. And it's become a sparring session for Henry Masca, the undefeated IBF light heavyweight champion. Referee Bobby Ferrara doing a good job here tonight. Breaks the fighters. Not easy when you have to deal with two awkward fighters like this. I and mean, he's been around the block with Masca before in another wrestling match when Anthony Hembrick fought him back in September of 93 in Masca's first defense. Iran Barkley coming down from a high of 208 pounds. Doesn't seem to have a whole lot left. Very tired, desperate fighter. Content to get on the inside clinch and not do much more once he gets there. Right eye almost totally shut on Barkley. Referee Bobby Ferrara tells him to fight out of it, and Masca does. Lands a good left. Oh, and Barkley's eye. Under 30 seconds to go here in round number eight. And I ran Barkley just a punching bag for the champion, Henry Masca. As we come to the end of round number eight, we wonder how much longer they're gonna let Iran Barkley go through this in his corner. We'll be back. Taking a look at that eye. Right. Right. Referee from Just Phoenix, Arizona. Sure, right. You know what? I'm interested in your safety. We look at you know action that. here for right. round number eight. Sure 
brilliant round for Henry Masca. Something compared to a punching bag or sparring session. Zyran Barkley couldn't land one punch the whole round. You wonder how much more of this they're going to let Iran Barkley take. Round number nine, IBF Light Heavyweight Championship scheduled for 12, but I don't know if we're going there. Iran Barkley's right eye almost totally swollen shut. The left eye's not looking real good. And the guys in the know at ringside, you see Cedric Kushner, Mickey Duff, Wilfred Sauerland. They gotta be wonder what's keeping Barkley going. Maybe the fact that he knows he's got that one punch knockout ability, something that Henry Masca doesn't have, having only 10 KOs in his 24 wins. We've seen Barkley pull it out before. But it's been a long time since that Tommy Hearns desperation punch or the Darren Van Horn fight. And Henry Masker boxing beautifully. Got that jab working. Left hand lead there. Barkley trying to work the body. Doesn't have much left on his punches. He's totally exhausted. Coming down from a high of 208 pounds to make the 175 pound weight limit. Trying to climb the mountain one more time. You have to think, why wouldn't he go for a cruiserweight title? Why is he in there fighting for the light heavyweight championship? But a lot of people thought he had the right style. If anybody was gonna take out the awkward mask, perhaps it was Barkley. But Henry looking great here right now. We're halfway through round number nine. Look at Barkley's right eye. Mask is just too strong for him. Nothing on Barkley's punch on the inside. A good left-right combination by Masca. Barkley's been stopped three times. Nigel Benn did it back in 1990. James Toney did it in 93. And Adolfo Washington did it when Barkley showed up at over 200 pounds to fight him. Masker, of course, undefeated. Needless to say, then it's never been stopped. But then has only had 10 KOs in his 24 wins and only once since being champion that against Ernie Magdaleno. He stopped Magdaleno on cuts in nine. Masker taking off the second half of round number nine. Has a comfortable lead. I've got him ahead 79-74 at the end of eight. And we're coming to the end of round number nine. We're scheduled for 12. here from round number nine. Barkley inside trying to bull his way in. But it's all Masca. He just can't keep Masca's punches off, keep Masca off him. We look at it from another angle. Barkley a virtual punching bag. There's no reason to let this fight go on. Well, you say it here, it comes out there, that's it. They've done the right thing. Iran Barkley cannot come out for round number 10. Henry Masca, 25th win against no losses. Retains his IBF light heavyweight title. As Iran Barkley fails to come out for the 10th round. Here in Halle, Germany, the former three-time world champion, his right eye totally closed, his left eye closing. Doesn't get off the stool. It's been all masked since at least the third round. He threw a little race car in the middle of that just to keep things interesting. See if you were paying attention. 
Henry Maska goes to 25-0 with 11 knockouts as he makes his fifth successful defense of the title that he won from Charles Williams, who, by the way, won his title from Bobby Chez. That's our trivia question. Make that Hembrick, Vetter, Magdaleno, Maggie, and add Barkley to it. As the German Sportsman of the Year, former 88 Olympic gold medalist. Looks very impressive here, probably putting an end to the somewhat great career of Iran Barkley. You have to call him up there, if nothing else. He's been a three-time former world champion. He holds two victories over Tommy Hearns. But I think he's seen better days. Receiving the IBF championship belt from supervisor Benedetto Montella. I had, Bar I had Maska comfortably ahead, 79-74. I gave Barkley only the first round. Third round even, everything else all Maska. Iran Barkley drops to 33 and 10, and hopefully that'll be it for the former three-time world champion. Certainly he can't make this weight. It took too much out of him to get down to it, and he's not really built to be at a different weight. But let's applaud. Let's applaud Henry Maska, though. And for the Cedric Kushner Sports Network, I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. For Bob Bossy, myself, Jim DiLorenzo, we'd like to say it's been a pleasure. Good night to the Pro Star Entertainment Network. And we'll see you November 5th on Heavyweight Explosion featuring Buster Mathis Jr. and Lou Savarisi. Again, I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal. Good night, boxing fans.